Remember those days when you used to go to the bookshop, pick out whatever caught your eye and then spend the rest of the day reading it? Perhaps even reading into the night with a torch under the covers. You got so lost in the story that the rest of the world just slipped away. Whatever happened to that? Did we naturally lose the ability to enjoy books like we used to? Or is there something else going on? It's something I'm honestly constantly wondering. I'd say I'm an avid reader, reading about 80 books per year. To you that may seem like a lot, or maybe not that much. Either way, I feel like I'm reading about every chance that I can get. But sometimes, okay, maybe a lot of the time, it feels like I'm reading just to tick something off my productivity to-do list. Or I'm racing through my current book just so I can get to the next one. Like reading has become something so very… adult. It's not just about not getting through all the books on my list, it's the stories themselves. Like I've lost that sense of wonder, that emotional connection I used to have as a kid. Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong, but it feels like, as an adult, a few things have changed. My ability to truly imagine has taken a step back. As a child, books were one of my first introductions to new worlds, magical beings, and exciting adventures. As an adult, it kind of feels like, been there, done that. Nothing feels new anymore because I've either experienced things myself or I've read something similar before. So the sense of wonder and discovery that comes with diving into a brand new story doesn't quite seem as exciting as it once did. Don't get me wrong, I've read some amazing books over the past few years. But there have only been a handful that have literally felt like I've stepped into another world. Maybe with time we all lose this ability, kind of like when we experience something amazing for the first time. A film, a play, a first taste… we'll never experience that feeling again. With books, perhaps it's no different. Perhaps it's just rare. Then I find, as an adult reader, instead of just enjoying the story for what it is, I'm analysing it. Perhaps without even realising. It's not just because I review every book I read, although that's part of it. It's simply because my adult brain has been trained to do so. While at school, college, and university, we're taught to read, analyse, and talk about books. What did the author mean when they wrote this line? How have these characters developed throughout the story? Look at the themes, and the writing style. All of this has led to a brain that wants to look a little closer at the story, to try and guess where the plot is going, to find errors, to break apart the text, even when I don't realise it. Honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. On the one hand, I enjoy writing reviews. I like picking out the things I like about a book and finding those same things in other books I like too. On the other hand, I wonder if this style of reading removes that sense of wonder and enjoyment I once had and now struggle to find. Jury is out on that one. The productivity side of things is something I'm constantly trying to work on, which is maybe too productive a term. Let's go with, I'm trying to let go of. Yeah, that works. I'm a productive person, give me a productivity tool, a list, a plan, and I'm there. So when I'm reading, I do tend to treat reading like it's some kind of productivity task. Honestly, if I don't make it something productive, if I don't make it a task, then I might not do it at all. So I'm not sure what to do with that one either. By making it a productive task, I make time for reading. But by making it a productive task, I sometimes make it a chore. Ah, to be an adult. I sometimes envy the past version of myself. The kid who had all the time in the world and none of the responsibilities. The kid who could just get home from school and read. No house to clean, no food to cook, no work to do, just endless hours of fun. But the reality is I'm not that kid anymore, and I'm guessing neither are you. So if we can't escape how our brains have changed and how our lives have, how can we enjoy reading again? Well, all I can say is what I'm trying to do. And perhaps you can let me know what you're doing as well. I'm going to try and enjoy the story more. Try to read without dissecting every detail and instead just be swept away. I'm also going to attempt to not rush so much, to stop thinking about the next book in my list and instead appreciating the one in my hands. Lastly, I'm going to cast aside my expectations just a little bit because sometimes they can be a little bit high. By reading a book without any, perhaps I can just enjoy the story for what it is. <laughs>